Oh, yeah. Stuff is definitely happening. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and move on, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you that do not know, we have another show, Let's Talk Football, The Round Table. And this last year, we had an, a lovely segment that came up. Our, our, our sister, Tina Winter, <laughs> had her segment, uh, The Corner Office. Uh, take a look at this. So first and foremost, let me apologize. That is the old one. That's the original <laughs> one I did with the old music. Uh, that is I not. I like music. it, so it's fine. All right, there, all right, there we go. All right, <laughs> but yo, that is the corner <laughs> office. Tina, talk to us about Tom Brady, the Raiders. What's going on here? Okay, so in the well, on the round table on one of my segments, I covered the fact that Tom Brady was attempting to purchase an interest, a minority interest in the Raiders. And the finance committee at that time went, nope, we don't think so. And so they kind of had to go back to the drawing board and they have gone back to the drawing board. The issue was how much money was being paid for that interest. And the problem at the time was that the finance committee felt that Mark Davis was given his partner in the women's NBA team a very healthy, healthy uh, rebate on that interest. Uh, <laughs> and huh. they said, no, you need to increase that. And yeah. so what has happened by right now is that um, he is going to be with a partner that he has, that he owns a, a football team in England and he also has a like a European racing team with they are going to be buying a 10% interest minority interest in the Raiders so just to give you guys numbers here so you understand what kind of money we're dealing with I think we all know it's a lot but I'm going to tell you the zeros the Raiders right now are valued at 5.8 billion dollars so if you're buying a 10% interest in that team that means you have to fork up 580 million dollars that's 10 percent. all right brady what's being reported is that he is going to be putting forth seven percent of that 10 percent which is going to make his share is going to be about 40.6 million dollars now, the reason that the numbers had to go up is, is the point of the finance committee is to keep making sure that the NFL product is growing, they're getting new owners, that you're not, if you sell short to, to your friend, you're reducing the value of everyone else's interest in those teams. So if you're only going to have to make them pay $250 million for a 10% for a interest in the Raiders. That means 10% interest at all the other 31 teams now become $250 million because the numbers are for all the teams. That's how they come out with these averages. So the owners said, no, come up with a better one. More than likely. So the finance committee is meeting on, actually, they met either yesterday or today. And then final approval if they approve the new group the new idea then it will go to final approval at the nfl uh annual league in front of the owners that's going to be at the end of march and if that's the case then it'll probably that's where it would get approved and he would own 10 percent. now if that happens there's certain things that he will have to stop doing like right now he's been kind of an advisor, an unofficial advisor to Mark at Mark Davis, like talking about how he was getting them to like hire Lou Getze and a couple of these things that have been going on with the Raiders. So, and he's still going to have his NFL job. He's, he is going to be on Fox. So it, that'll be, that's the part that's interesting to me, but I'm not going to get bogged down Can into he keep that. that? Because Can he keep his job in the NFL? I thought he couldn't keep it. In my it. opinion, I think it's a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. However, there's nothing in the rules that says that he can't. Wow. I just think because his analyst position and what he's, because he's going to be with Kevin Burkhart, 
They're going to be going to the teams. You have a minority interest. Like, I'm sure the Raiders are going to have to put, it, they used to be called Chinese walls. They're mm -hmm. conflict of interest walls. Like, the stuff he learns, he can't really, he's a minority interest limited partner. He doesn't have a lot of say so in the team anyways. It's mostly like, give me some cash so I can say I own part of the team. Right. Because um, Lewis Hamilton owns 10, is a minority interest it owns a minority interest in the Broncos. So that's, if you you do this with money so you can come all this stuff in. I don't think he should, but it's not a illegal. Mm -hmm. So wow. I, so just to uh, give a shout out to my friend Nick on the round table. I do think Vegas Tommy and the shout outs to Nick for that nickname for Tom. Vegas Tommy is going to own part of the Raiders and he's going to yeah. be talking about the Raiders. <laughs> yeah. And to this day, he's the only Super Bowl winning quarterback to do this. <laughs> oh man. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Canapoli the only thing that would have been even better is <laughs> if he does, if for some reason something happens with his position, like he's going to do certain things or they say, no, you can't do this, that or anything. I want to get the clip of him having the temper tantrum on. The yes. Just throwing the, the yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. That was the, the, passion that was the year we beat him in the championship guys. game. Mm -hmm. Went to the Super Bowl. Absolutely. Answers, but yeah. Yeah, Tommy Vegas. Vegas. I will baby. I love nicknames. Absolutely. Everybody that knows me on the show knows <laughs> I love nicknames. I have got to give Nick the shout out for that one. I cracked up when he said that one. So right, that's what's going on with the Raiders, and that's what's going on with uh Mr. Tom Brady. So I can dig it. I can all right. Dig it. Back to you. Office. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely.